Hi, this is Katie Bellissimo with the MMA Hot Lips Show. So, I did a prediction on the Marino Ravel fight that happened Saturday night, um, and I was right and I was wrong. So, I was right about the five rounds, going all five rounds, and it was a great fight. I was wrong on who won. So, let me tell you a little bit about how I felt about the fight. I watched the whole thing and really enjoyed it. First round, what I like to affectionately call the dating round. They danced a lot, they were feeling each other out, they were getting to know each other. So then not a lot of stuff was going on in the first round, but it was good to watch. Both of them were not too aggressive, but they knew what they were gonna do on that second date. So the second round, Marino came out fairly aggressive. It went into the middle of the ring and they were toe to toe. And uh, it was very, very significant jabs, both of them. They were very aggressive with each other. And then it went to the ground and I thought, okay, it's over, second round. Uh, Ravel got him in kind of a uma pilata with the arm and I thought, oh, he's gonna take him out. He's gonna take him out. But it was amazing, Marino got out of that and uh, they got up on the off the ground and back to jabbing. So it was a great aggressive second round and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'd have to give it to Ravel. On the third round, I believe that Marino had a slight advantage in the third round. Um, he took him down or he attempted to take him down several times, but they stayed and remained on their feet for the most part. But Marino was really chopping that leg down with the leg kicks on Ravel. And uh, so I believe he had a, sec a slightly better advantage in the third round, but they were both absolutely um, throwing and striking. So it was really hard to judge that. Um, I think it was a great third round and I would probably give it slightly to Marino but Ravel really held his own. He, he really did. So the fourth round was really interesting. Uh, Ravel was constantly throwing strikes and jabs. It was really amazing. I mean, he was just all over it with him. And it made Marino look a little slow, actually. It was almost like Marino didn't have the cardio to handle all what was coming at him. Um, because uh, Ravel trains in Colorado, I think maybe he did have a little bit more cardio. I don't know, I'm just uh, stabbing in the dark here, but it felt to me like Ravel had that round. So the fourth round, I would give it to him. Now they're even, two and two. So in the fifth round, obviously Marino needed to tick it up and really make it count. I was listening to his coaches talking to him. They said, you've got to take this round. You've got to take this round. And so uh, he needed to come in strong. And I was believing in him. I was thinking they was going to. They were both amazing fighters and I wanted to give it to both of them, right? Um, but Ravel was just absolutely peppering with jabs and leg kicks and uh, there were attempted takedowns, but uh, to no avail. They both stayed on the ground and they both really um, did a great job of striking. So I could have given it to either or. Uh, Ravel, I think, had a slight edge, um, but I'm not sure. It was a toss up. So a hard fought, five rounds, split decision, win for Ravel. It was great. The Mexicans have a lot to be proud of. Thanks for watching. Katie Bellissima, MMA Hot Lips, out.